way to Laconia, New Hampshire. I haven't been for bike week in 10 years now. I, I haven't gone since, oh damn, it's been since I got my first CBR. I bought that in 2005 and went to my first bike, uh, my first bike week in 2006, the following summer. And I just haven't ever gone since then for various reasons between a few years not having a bike and not having a weekend off or time during the week or all kinds of things. So I'm going with a bunch of people from work. I'm the only sport bike here, so I feel a little bit out of place, but Laconia is kind of more cruiser bike oriented, but there's all kinds of stuff there, custom bikes and sport bikes, so I'm not too much of a fish out of water, but it should be a fun time, considering I've been gone for a while, and there's seven of us total, and probably everyone else is way back there. I prefer to be up towards the front more, so here I am. But uh, I'll see if I can get some video off and on during the day and maybe see some cool stuff.
been a few days since I went to Laconia for bike week and I just wanted to do a little recap at the end of the footage that I captured earlier. Just a little bit of a comparison from what I saw this time from what it was like 10 years ago, the last time that I went. When I went before, back in 06, there was a lot of uh, bike builders there. Orange County Choppers was there. They had all kinds of specialty bikes. Um, there was other bike builders other than them that were there. And it was just a lot of stuff to look at, a lot of cool custom built bikes, and a lot of just things in general to look at. It was pretty impressive and it was quite enjoyable to go. This time around, um, it wasn't anything like that. I had heard that the amount of vendors and uh, things going on at Laconia had been diminishing over the years. And when I went a few days ago, uh, it turned out to be true. There was a lot of bikes there, of course, and there were some nice bikes, you know, mostly ones that people had bought or built on their own. But as far as displays from custom bike builders, there wasn't anything. There was no Orange County Choppers. There wasn't any other bike companies there that build custom choppers or custom bikes. It was just really nothing to look at. The only thing there was a bunch of bikes from people that had showed up and a bunch of vendors that sold t-shirts and other, you know, stuff, crap, you know, trinkets and knives and it felt more like I was at a local fair in the fall than it was a big huge bike week, which it's labeled to be and it was kind of a disappointment. And I was expecting a lot more and hoping for a lot more and definitely not what I got and it was fun riding down with the group that I went down with and that in itself was great but the actual experience of being there and seeing the things that were there compared to last time it just it was just a disappointment so you know it's I'll go again but I'm not going to make it a yearly trip they have the 100th Laconia anniversary in seven years this was the 93rd and I'll, I would like to go for something like that. They do still have the special events that go on that are scheduled on specific days or at night. They do certain things and activities. So there is stuff to go there to do and see, but just randomly walking around that stuff was extremely limited and non-existent as compared to before. But I would like to go for the 100th anniversary one. That would be something interesting and cool to see. But I'm not going to go every year. I did buy my, you know, traditional Lacone t-shirt for going. But I just don't see myself going every year again. I'll go again in a while, but for now, um... You know, I would go just to ride down with people. But as far as going to, as in hopes of seeing really cool custom stuff and different bike builders, that's probably not going to happen unless it starts to come around again. But who knows if that actually will or not.